Most woodturners are familiar with various items that insert into a Morse taper in the lathe spindle. Some example are spur drives, spindle safety drives, these continue to spin independent of the wood if you get a catch, dead centers, bottle stopper mandrels with a threaded end, and drill chucks. If you look at the tapered end of these drives, you may notice some have threaded holes. The holes are there to facilitate the use of a drawbar, a threaded rod used to pull the drive tightly into the spindle. It's important to note that the various drives may have different size threaded holes. This depends on the taper size, with Morse taper number two being the most common for wood turning lathe spindles, and the threads may be imperial or metric, depending on the manufacturer. For most spindle work, this isn't necessary because the tailstock is in use and there is pressure applied to the drive keeping it firmly in the spindle's taper. However, if the tailstock is not used, and particularly when there may be lateral force applied, the drive can wiggle out of the spindle during turning. Here we see a mandrel used to turn bottle stoppers. When the tailstock is removed to shape the top of the stopper, it's best if the mandrel is secure in the lathe spindle. Another and perhaps better use case is when making jewelry pendants. I attach an eccentric faceplate to the mandrel. When it spins off center, there's a better chance of the taper loosening in the spindle, so I always want the drive secure. The drawbar I use is simple. It's just a threaded rod with a handle. I've made several, one for each of my lathes, and for every lathe that I've used during a club or symposium demonstration. Although purely aesthetic, you can practice your spindle turning skills by shaping and decorating the handle. For this demonstration, we'll just use a short length of dowel to make a simple short drawbar for a bottle stopper mandrel inserted into a midi lathe. In this case, the mandrel has a 5 16th inch thread, so we'll use that size all thread rod. Place the mandrel or drive into the spindle's taper and slide the rod through the headstock and thread it all the way into the end of the drive. Place a mark where the rod meets the hand wheel. This marks the length of the thread protruding from the handle. Next make another mark an inch or two from the first mark for the thread that will fit inside the handle. This mark is where we'll cut the rod to its final length. I add a couple of nuts whenever I cut threaded rods or bolts. The nuts can act as a die to help clean up any threads that get slightly damaged during the cutting or grinding. I also like to taper the end of the thread, making it easier to insert into the mandrel when it's in the spindle. A few moments on the grinder make short work of the task. Although only the end that threads into the mandrel benefits from tapering, I did both ends, practicing first on the end that will be inserted into the handle. I place a piece of tape onto a drill bit to indicate the hole depth that's a little deeper than the length of the rod that will be inserted into the handle. The bit I chose is also slightly wider than the threaded rod, allowing a little extra room for the epoxy. Then it's pretty straightforward. Make a hole using a drill press, hand drill, or on your lathe. Next prepare a batch of your favorite two-part epoxy. Make sure you mix it well so it cures evenly and makes a strong bond. Then slather it into the hole in the handle and onto the rod's threads. Finally, slip the rod into the handle, twisting as you insert it to help distribute the epoxy. After cleaning up any squeeze out with a paper towel, set the assembly aside and wait for the adhesive to cure. Slide a fender washer onto the rod and add an O-ring to keep the washer in place and you have a functional drawbar. Now it's time to try out the new tool. Slip it into the hand wheel and thread it into the mandrel until just hand tight. Now the mandrel is snug in its taper and will not loosen during turning. I hope you find these tools and techniques useful in your own shop and go turn safely.